On Thursday, August 12, 2010, Michigan's iconic Mackinac Bridge was recognized as a National Historic Civil Engineering Landmark by the Michigan Section of the American Society of Civil Engineers. In a ceremony held at Bridgeview Park in St. Ignace, officials from the Michigan Department of Transportation and Mackinac Bridge Authority proudly accepted the honor, which cited the outstanding accomplishment of building the bridge back in the mid-1950s under such extreme weather conditions. For more than 40 years, ASCE has recognized civil engineering achievements that have played a unique role in the development of the United States and, in fact, the world. To date, about 200 projects have been recognized with this designation. These are the projects that illustrate creativity and innovation in the spirit of civil engineering. The Mighty Mac, as it is often called, represented a new level of aerodynamic stability in suspension bridges when it opened to the public in 1957. The bridge towers 552 feet over the Straits of Mackinac and connects Michigan's two peninsulas as the longest suspension bridge between anchors in the Western Hemisphere. Officials remarked on just how incredible an achievement it was to build the so-called bridge that couldn't be built. When the Mighty Mac was completed and opened up to traffic, it changed the dialogue of what was possible with suspension bridges in other parts of the country, if not the world. The bridge was built in the worst possible conditions and obviously very well built. A special medallion will commemorate the Mighty Mac's well-deserved status as one of Michigan's National Historic Civil Engineering Landmarks. Well, I think this bridge exemplifies the American spirit of anything is possible. We can do it if we put our mind to it. The Michigan Department of Transportation is dedicated to providing the highest quality integrated transportation services for economic benefit and improved quality of life.